Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Crypto Crow, and tonight, today, or this afternoon, whatever time it may be, wherever you are, hopefully, by the time we're done, you're going to have a new website built. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a web designer. Crow, what do I do? I, don't, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Easiest thing in the world. I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, and I've been, I've been doing websites, uh, on and off for 20 years and it's only gotten easier every year. Now it's to a point where you pretty much just buy a domain, click, click, click. You've got a website up, you install a theme. And the most difficult part from there is just customizing it to the way you want. So, and I'm going to show you all this stuff in this video right here. So make sure that you check out cryptocrow.io, uh, which is my crypto crow university. Uh, full of free goodies and content and things that I'm going to continue adding to um, all in efforts of creating a passive income empire. And, you know, if you're if you've already been following this series, you know, a lot of the stuff I've been showing has been basics, uh, how to set up your, your your YouTube channel, how to set up your website, how to set up this and that. And once we get through that, then we're really going to dive into the next layer and how we're gonna connect everything into one big passive empire. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. And this is gonna change your life. I'm telling you, this is gonna change your life if you work on it uh, and you make this your thing for a while. Now, here we go. So um, I have been a, a customer of GoDaddy for a long time. And I, oh wait, I'm not on GoDaddy, am I? After years and years and years, a decade, of using GoDaddy, uh, I am finally making the switch to um, Namecheap because it is all in the name. It's cheap and effective, and overall, I just like their mis their mission. GoDaddy, you know, I know you hear about it all the time. You've they've got they pay Buku money for all these the, for the celebrity sports endorsements and all this other stuff. You're paying for that, folks, and. Everything about GoDaddy, in my opinion, is a bait and switch. It's, you know, from their pricing structure, everything's meant to make it look like you're getting a great deal. And then once you go to the checkout, it's like a thousand dollars. It's like, wait a minute. I thought I was spending 200 bucks. What just happened? It's just a lot of gotchas. And I just hate the business practice. Um, but they do so much marketing that it draws people in. And so I, I think if you are, um, I am very much looking forward to see what Namecheap has to offer. So here we go. Go to Namecheap.com uh, or you're going to be able to just click the link in my description. I think it's going to give you a bit of a discount. Um, it's an affiliate link. It helps me. should help you. Um, and if the link doesn't, at least this video is. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> first thing you need to do is you need to get a domain name. Now, I'm not going to get into a lot of SEO stuff uh, just yet. I'm going to save a lot of that for another video. If you have a domain name already somehow that has been indexed in Google for at least two years or more, use that one uh, because you get some benefits uh, when it comes to ranking and building page authority and things like that. But I'll get into those details in another video in the future. For now, we just want to get you started, okay? Um, so we need to find a domain. And the first thing I really want to do, though, is I, I, you should set up an account. So go here and click Profile. And then you're going to set up an account. Okay, it's going to say log in or create an account. I've already got this started. Um, I don't want to get a bunch of newsletters. So I'm going to create a, an account and continue. Cool. Uh, I'll save this one in the browser, even though I don't normally do that. Um, this is really just an ex a demo account. So uh, make sure that you make your password really difficult and all of that fun stuff. Now, um, so from here, now we have an account, all right? So now we want to go back here and we want to set up, uh, we, we need to get our dom domain name. So find a domain name that's relevant to your brand, the products that you're going to sell, uh, or the content of your niche blogging efforts, whatever kind of content you're going to, uh, be doing. So come up with a domain name and then we just find out if it's available. I'm going to say, um, watches to go i don't know i'm sure this isn't available but uh boo that's not available um man that would have been a good one too 
I didn't do this. Uh, I didn't have this all like pre-done. So, um, how about um, watch me go go. Well, come on. Watch, wait, oh, watchmegogo.com. Oh, that's available. Okay. Um, was the other one? I don't know, Watch Me Go Go. I kind of like that. I'm gonna go with that, Watch Me Go Go. All right, so now I've got the domain. It's 888 a year, okay? Pretty cheap. Now, I want WordPress hosting. So they make it super easy. Easy WP from $1 a month for WordPress hosting. Why not? Yes, I'm gonna add that. Uh, but, so this is the easy WP starter for $1 a month. Renews at 388 a month. Ooh. Uh, this gives you 10 gigs of SSD storage and 50,000 visitors a month with a free CDN. A CDN is a content delivery network that basically helps against <clears throat> things like DDoS attacks. You hear about DDoS hacks and things like that. Basically, it's a bunch of people pinging your, your website over and over from all over the place, trying to overload the servers and shut it down. Um, but with a CDN, what it's doing ultimately is it's caching all the content on your site and it's redistributing it all over the world through servers all over the world. So if somebody's trying to hit a, do a DDoS attack on an IP address or something like that, well, they're actually hitting clones of your site that are being stored all over the place. So it's kind of broken up, so it's not directly banging the same server, ultimately shutting it down. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, this gives you more storage, 50 gigs, uh, 200,000 visitors a month, but we're, we're just, let's just assume that like we're just getting started, right? So we don't need a whole bunch of resources yet. However, I will say that we're gonna go with the cheapest options now just because we're just getting started, right? You don't really know if you, I don't know if you have a lot of money to spend or a lot of bells and whistles, but we're gonna add this and we're just gonna go with that. And when you've added, um, when you've added your site, maybe at some point you're gonna use like a, a WooCommerce plugin, that can get kind of server intensive. There are a lot of plugins out there that can get pretty server intensive. So if you realize or you get notifications that, you know, hey, you're using up a lot of resources here, um, then you can you just upgrade your hosting account. It should be pretty easy to do. So I'm going to pause this. I'm gonna come back after I've purchased this. Okay, so it's purchased. I got watchmegogo.com. I wonder what I'm gonna sell on that domain. And I got free who is guard and I got easy WP monthly hosting at a dollar. I mean, that's crazy cheap. So for, I got hosting and a domain name for 10 bucks. Craziness. So um, now we want to set up our domain, our website, our WordPress site. Now I've never set up a site on this with this company before. I'm doing this all raw right here. So here we go. Um, uh, log in with Namecheap. Okie doke. Here we go. Set up WordPress. Let's do it. Watch me go go. I'm just selecting my domain from the drop down. Couldn't get any easier. Create WordPress website. Or do I want to customize the WordPress install? I'm going to go ahead and just go with create the WordPress website. I can customize what I need afterwards. App wants to make changes. Yes. You can find WordPress credentials. All right. We're changing your domain to watchmegogo.com. This may take up to 24 hours. That's typically never the case. So I'm not too concerned with that. We've got everything set up, but it's gonna take up to 24 hours. So I'm gonna pause this and come back and you can take a break. <laughs> um, or 
in the meantime, you can go to, uh, you can click the other link, excuse me, other link down below and click the Envato Market, which is going to take you to a place where basically you're going to go to web themes and you're basically, it's themeforest.com, but you're going to go to the website Envato. And when you find Theme Forest, you can start looking through the different web themes. And these are all paid themes. Or you could go to justfreethemes.com. And these are all free web uh, WordPress themes that you can grab. Now, there's a difference, though, because I don't know that these free themes, uh, you can see their demos and all that. And if you find something like a shopper, uh, there are a lot of different kinds of themes, news card, depending on what kind of site you're going to have. But I don't know if they have one-click demo installs, which is a huge deal. Almost every theme on Theme Forest, um, actually, why? Hold on a minute. Why is that? Yeah, we want ThemeForest.com. Once you're logged into your Envato site. You'll be able to log in and uh, you'll just go to Theme Forest. And this is where you're going to go. Once you're at themeforest.com, um, which your, your Envato, your Envato, account, Envato owns like Theme Forest, Graphic River, Audio Jungle, all these different media sites with like templates and things, Video Hive, which is a big one. Uh, so once you've set up your Envato account, then you'll be able to go into Theme Forest and look at all the different themes that are available for sale. Now, this is like blogs and magazines. These are all e-commerce, okay? So the one I'm gonna end up using, when we come back, I'm gonna be uh, setting up this theme, Lift Supply, Creative Single Product WooCommerce WordPress theme. Because I'm really just gonna be focusing on one product starting off. And um, so I'm gonna teach you how to set this, this up and make it look nice and be able to customize it and all that stuff. So I'll see you back in just a minute. Alrighty then, and we're back. And it only took about 20 minutes. So what happened, I actually ended up getting an email uh, or I got a notification in the dashboard saying I needed to verify my contact information. And so I clicked verify, I got an email, I clicked it and, and then it was approved. And then literally minutes later, um, this went up. So I clicked admin and then when I clicked that, it brought up the back end of my website right there. So this is all a bunch of gobbledygook you're not gonna need. So we can click dismiss and get rid of that. And let's see, let's bring this in a little bit here. So this is basically the, the back end of your site. Now, this is all WordPress news. I typically bring that up, minimize it. Uh, quick draft, I rarely use that for anything. I bring it over there and minimize it. So if we look at our website right now, this is what we see. That's it. But you have a website and it's up and running. We're done, folks. Good night. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So watch me go, go. Uh, I actually think that's really cool that I picked that up. I can't believe I did that just on the fly. All right. So a couple things we're going to do first. We're going to go into general settings. And oh, uh, well, let's update this real quick. <laughs> If you're if you're doing this and it says uh, WordPress needs an update, always update WordPress pretty much immediately. Sometimes it breaks things, but if you don't, if you don't keep your WordPress site updated, all the plugins that you're using, all of that stuff, if you do not keep it updated, script kitties, as we call them, are are basically uh, people who love to use little hacker scripts they find on the dark web and all over the place. They like to run these scripts looking for uh, vulnerabilities in WordPress sites. And um, typically when something is out of date, uh, it means that security flaws were updated. And in those security updates, they basically say, well, we patch this, we patch that. Well, then the hackers know, oh, well, this used to be a vulnerability in, in previous uh, editions. So update WordPress database, sure. Okay. So there, um, and then that shows you basically what that WordPress update was. So we're gonna go back to the uh, dashboard. You may or may not have had to do that. It's no big deal if you did. Uh, so we're gonna go back to settings. We're gonna go back to general. And so we've got the site title, Watch Me Go Go, uh, a, a store 
for quality smartwatches. All right. Um, and so this is your tagline. So you're going to throw your tagline, whatever your, be creative, whatever your tagline is. Um, watches that, I don't know. I'll just make up something. Watches that make you go. Make you go, go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you're not gonna really need anyone can register because it's not likely that you're gonna have a whole lot um, going on. If you decide to do niche blogging and you want people to comment and things like that, then you'll want anyone can register. Otherwise, if it's just a shop, and you're not gonna you're not planning on having a lot of that or you're gonna be redirecting traffic to like Amazon or something I wouldn't worry too much about it because you actually want to drive people to your reviews on Amazon if that's the case okay so we're gonna save that so that it doesn't say another WordPress website and then that's done then we're gonna go to writing nothing we need to change there you've got your uncategorized that's your default blog post reading your latest plo this is all going to change here soon anyway permalinks uh it's already defaulted to post name so wow okay so wordpress is ahead of the game there so now we want theme okay so these are the themes that come stock with wordpress that you can select we don't want to use one of those we want to be unique and we don't want to use something that's used by everybody see the thing of it is is that some people are tempted to use these stock themes because they're free and it, you just got to turn them on. It's already there. The problem is, is that a lot of like PBN people, PBNs are like uh, private blog network operators. They basically build these huge farms of websites and they build them up and then they link to each other and they try and help the authority of other sites. And then they, it's a whole thing. Okay. And a lot of times they just use a lot of stock standard themes um because it's cheap and they're doing it in bulk so what you're ultimately going to want to do is you're gonna there's a link below for envato marketplace and you're gonna click the link go to envato set up your account and then you're going to want to go to um theme forest okay now theme forest is actually a really really awesome awesome site because you can get here's the thing there are companies that if you were to go to them right now and say, hey, I want a website for my shop or my niche blog or whatever, they're gonna charge you three to $5,000, sometimes even 10 grand to do exactly what I'm showing you how to do right here, okay? Uh, and that's a fact because I did it for years. <laughs> um, because I mean, look, it's, it's kind of like the plumber, right? You know, you call the plumber and, and, and you, you, you tell, oh man, I've got a, a leak. And he walks in, he looks at it, and he hits the pipe one time, you know, or whatever, and then the leak stops, and, you're, and then he hands you a bill for like 1200 bucks. And you're like, How? it took you two seconds. He's like, sure, that took me two seconds. With the 20 years it took me to learn how to do this in two seconds is why you're paying me 1200 bucks, right? So uh, that's kind of the philosophy, but it just keeps getting easier. So you can go to Envato um, Theme Forest, and you'll click here and then all these are different categories of themes now right now we're looking in the e-commerce section so a lot of these themes are like 60 bucks but you can find some like this one's 27 you could find a lot of deals um but this and you know you want to look at the reviews make sure that it's a good quality thing it's got easy one-click installation which is insane because it really helps you get a jump start on things and typically it breaks down the features, functions, and what it comes with. And then it shows you the different demos that you'll be able to install. So ultimately, once you purchase one of these themes and you've installed one of these, one click demo, and then this is what your website will look like, like in minutes, okay? That's really the easy part. From there, you have to customize it and make it your own, and you're gonna need to know how to do that. So what I'm doing is I've got uh, this theme. It's called Lift Supply. This is basically a, a one product theme, okay? This is basically a theme that I'm going to ultimately customize to make my own. Like it looks like it's all about shoes, right? Um, I'm not gonna do all the customization in this video because that could take forever, but I am going to build this out 
and and show you how I transform this. Well, by the time we're done with this video, your website's gonna look like this if you decide to use this theme. Uh, if you don't, what I'm going to show you is gonna be very quick and easy, okay? So you'll be able to apply a lot of this on any theme that you decide to get, okay? So here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here, we're gonna manage themes, we're gonna add a new theme, all right? So these are a bunch of other free themes that you can install if you want, if, you just, if you've got a blog or something like that. Now, we're gonna upload a theme. Where did I upload mine? Here it is. Um, so these are the theme files. This is the theme file that I want. So I'm gonna drag this to my desktop and here we go. All right, so we're gonna upload this theme. All right, so I selected it, clicking install now, and this should upload the, the zip file. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and activate it. Bingo, bango. Now, right after we've activated the theme, it's gonna give us kind of a rundown as to our, our resources and what we have available, which uh, I'm, I'm actually surprised that it's, we have what we have on, because I mean, we've just got a dollar hosting account. Um, PHP time limit's a little low, so that, would prob that should probably be like six something, I'm guessing. Uh, PHP max input variables. Um, that's not good. So that might give us some problems importing the demo. But what we're gonna do before we attempt that is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna install these plugins. So these are all the plugins that this site is saying that it really needs to operate properly. So we're gonna go begin installing plugins. We're gonna just mass install them all, okay? So from the drop down, install and click apply. Okay, so now that the plugins have installed, which uh, depending on what server you have or whatever, it could take a couple seconds, it could take a couple minutes. Uh, and every theme is gonna require different plugins that you're gonna need to install, uh, but that's how easy it is. Generally, that's, it's pretty much all there is to it. So now that those are installed, we're gonna wanna turn them on. So we're gonna go back here I will say that this server is pretty slow. If you're watching this before you set up a web, you might want to get a beefier server because this is pretty slow. I don't think I've ever worked on a server this slow before. Okay, so now we're finally back, <laughs> back in the plugins directory. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff in here and you're probably freaking out, but it's all pretty simple stuff. Um, so, What's this saying? Uh, the following required plugin is currently inactive. Yeah, I know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click this. It selects all these plugins and we wanna make sure that we activate everything. All right, this might take another hour. Okay, that was quick. All right, so everything's back. Uh, actually, the Hello Dolly, we don't really need that. We can get rid of that. I hate how they put it in everything, but I think it's kind of a, uh, what do you call, like a, I don't know, something they've done for years, so they've always kept that in there. I think it's just a, don't even know what purpose it serves. It just wastes everybody a couple minutes every time. Um, so this should be deleting. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, I'm sure. Get rid of it already. Deactivate it. Maybe we have to deactivate it first. There we go. Now maybe it'll let us delete it. Yes. There we go. All right, so you got to deactivate it first. All right, so now you see, uh, welcome to WooCommerce. Run the setup wizard. You can do all that. Install WooCommerce admin. We don't need that right now. Uh, your theme list supply contains outdated copies. We don't need this right now either. Okay, so we're gonna dismiss that. And so now we have all of that. So now what we need to do is we wanna install the demo. And I'm hoping based off of the limited, um, the limited stuff, <laughs> the limited available resources on this small tiny server package, I'm hoping it's able to do this. So this is gonna be a crapshoot, I'll tell you. 
Uh, but we're going to go in. So this is Theme Lexus. This is basically for the theme we just installed. And we're going to go to Import Demos. Now, depending on the theme that you bought, it could be somewhere else. Um, okay. Click to below. Okay. So here we go. We're going to click this. And hope we don't get a bunch of problems. Demo source, product sample, import type. Um, hmm. We're going to go ahead and say all. Oof. We'll see. Something tells me this isn't going to go through.
All right, so it looks like our import was successful. Took a little while, uh, but I didn't get any errors and um, very interesting. I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed because we just got a dollar hosting from Namecheap and it let me import. Well, so far it looks like it let me import. So now let's go and look at our site because we haven't looked at it in a minute. Dum, 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 drum roll. There it is. That is your website now, if you downloaded the theme, or you got the theme that I pointed out. So you'll notice that the products, the product images are empty. Um, you know, you've got a base stock logo, you've got some other stuff down here in the footer. So this is all now basically a canvas for you to customize however you'd like, but you have a website, okay? So um, I'm actually pretty impressed, Namecheap. I, kind of dig the fact that we were able to get that so let's see what these guys wanted it looks like a plugin update um anytime you see this like i said you always want to update your your plugins you want to make sure your uh wordpress is always updated and so on now um if we go back so that's done and so we can run on the setup wizard here um i'll i'll I guess we could do this a little bit uh, now, just in case you're trying to set up a an e-commerce site where you're gonna sell products of your own. Uh, but I'm not gonna go too deep into that. Uh, but where, where's your store based? Are you in the UK? Uh, are you in the United States? I'm in the United States. Uh, I would suggest if you're doing a lot of shipping and, and things like that, you might wanna use a PO box. Um, but uh, we'll just say, uh, our way to hell <laughs> and that is in Cincinnati Ohio for sure because <laughs> everyone over here drives like crap uh, sorry if you're from Ohio but you know it's true if somebody sneezes the roads too wet uh, four five two four five four wait I don't know four five two four five that's a decent zip all right i plan to sell both digital and physical product products i'll also be selling products or services in person nah um help improve usage tracking no i don't want to really do that okay so now this is where you're going to set up are you going to be doing uh stripe payments paypal or offline payments chances are you're going to be doing paypal um sure you you plug in your business account uh email and that should be that stripe is going to be uh stripe's pretty good like that stripe is used by a lot of people um you know obviously if you're setting up a site for uh anything that would anything that would be considered like gambling adult anything like that don't use paypal uh even crypto for that matter like if you're trying to set up some sort of crypto site uh, because PayPal will just seize your money and keep it. I mean, they're, they're, it's like, uh, at least that's what I've seen. Um, so it's best if you're doing anything that you think is going to be against PayPal's rules, just don't try it because they'll they'll figure it out and they'll get you. Uh, shipping method, probably flat rate. I mean, you're, you're going to be able to figure, adjust this however you see fit. Um, inches, ounces uh yeah ounces ounces and inches that's probably gonna be about right um what would you like to charge for flat rate shipping uh we'll just say five bucks five dollars anywhere um locations not covered by your other zones i don't know fifteen dollars again you're gonna know your shipping costs more than i will i'm just kind of filling in the blanks but that's ultimately how simple this is Recommended for all WooCommerce stores. Enhance your store with these recommended free features. Automated taxes. Sure. Because those are going to be based off of your location that you just plugged in. Your sales tax. WooCommerce admin. Sure. MailChimp. Sure. Facebook. Yeah, okay. We'll go ahead and let that stuff get set up. And it may... I'm not sure what the next, pro, this next step is, but it might be activate. Uh, continue with Jetpack. Jetpack's actually a really good plugin. I will, um, yeah, we can go ahead and set that now, uh, do, do that now, because we're going to install it anyway. 
but there's a couple other plugins that I'm going to install uh, that, that, that I think are very important. I'm going to show you how to do those too. Oh gosh. Okay. We're not going to do all this. You can set up, uh, you can set up Jetpack on your own. It's going to be easy, but there's a whole other accounts and all kinds of other stuff you need to do. Uh, your start. Yes. Uh, good. All right. So that's done. View the dashboard or you can import products, but you're not going to do any of that. PayPal checkout with new smart PayPal pay buttons. Okay. So You'll configure your PayPal checkout. This isn't, we're, <laughs> this is a rabbit hole, folks. I'm just trying to get you set up on your website. Uh, Stripe, we'll, we're gonna get rid of this. Uh, Stripe is enabled, but an SSL certificate is not detected. Yes, we're gonna need to set up an SSL certificate. Um, we've got Jetpack, so that was installed, but we haven't set it up yet, which is fine. We don't necessarily need to. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through and we're gonna clean up some of the crap, right? That the theme set up. Um, this is all stock content. We don't really need any of this. So we're gonna move all of these stock comments to the, to the trash can because it just takes up space. Um, posts, we're not, we, I'm sure it probably added a bunch of posts we don't need. Yeah, so we don't need any of this. We're just gonna get rid of them. Well, you know what, we'll keep one. Let's, let's take a look at one real quick, just to see. So this is a sample blog post, okay? So this is actually cool. If you wanna leave one of these, it just kinda of shows you uh, what, the, what the blog posts are gonna look like when you, when you say, okay, I wanna write a new blog post, that's basically what your blog pages are gonna look like. So that's actually cool. We'll, we'll leave one, but we don't really need all of them. Um, there. So we'll move those to the trash. All right. So we've got one blog post. We'll keep that just for, for giggles uh, for now. Products. Now, these are all empty products, right? And, uh, and these are basically put in here to show you the different categories that you can use, the different price points, whether or not they're featured. And these are ultimately to show you what a finished product looks like. So we're gonna open one up and take a look. So this is a product page, okay? Um, obviously it's, it's just using gray images, but you'll be able to replace those. And, and this is what it all looks like. So you'll have your description and so forth. So let's actually go in and edit the product. So here's the title of your product, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna open this up. Yeah, so that's this. This is your title. Uh, this is the description for your product. You've got your categories here, which we can we can easily wipe all those and just add new categories based off of, um, of what we're doing. Here's the regular price. Here's the sale price. Um, the sale price dates. So this is basically, I. so this is the regular retail price of your product. If you're running a sale, this is where you put your sale price and you'll run your sale from 512 uh, 2016 to 330 2018. <laughs> so, but you can change that uh, just by clicking that box. I'm telling you this stuff is so simple, guys. It just takes a little time, that's all. It's, it's taxable. So you've, you're gonna have the plugin that automatically does your tax. Here's, um, your SKU number um, and whether or not it's in stock, out of stock, or on back order, sold individually. You've got your shipping, linked products. So you know, let's say if I'm if I'm selling a watch and I also want to sell watch bands that I can change them out with, I would just list those here. Uh, please enter three more characters. I don't know what other products we have, but. Um, yeah, I don't even know what they're called, so I'm not gonna be able to punch up three, but that's basically what you're gonna do. So that way, when you're on this product page, you know, down below here somewhere, or some here, somewhere here, they'll say people also like, and then you know, you'll have your different watch bands, or maybe you have shoelaces if you're selling shoes, you know, basically upsells, things that people might wanna pick up along the way when they're buying the primary product, okay? So that's all pretty self-explanatory, and then this is the short description. This is basically this data right here. Okay, so that's how simple that is. And then this, this is gonna be your main product image. 
So if you have uh, product images, you'll be able to upload those. So let's take a look here. So if I'm going, um, I'm just gonna steal a couple pictures just to show you. Um, all right, so we will just, we'll use this. All right, so this is what happens. And, uh oh, maybe it won't let me. Save, okay. Uh, let's try this. Save image as JPEG desktop. All right, so now we're going to go here. We're going to remove this. We're going to set product image. We're going to select files to upload. And there it is. Now, for SEO, now these are all the images that the theme is installed for you. So all this stuff is already there. Uh, I didn't know that or I would have just grabbed one of them. But um, you're going to want to use alt text in all your images. And your alt text should ex explain kind of what the image is of. Uh, we'll just say a weight five pounds. That's fine. Um, the title, five pound weight. A description, large black weight with handle. And the reason why you're doing this sort of stuff is because when Google's indexing your site and it's spidering through your site, it's going through all the content on it. The more you're able to tell Google what your product is about, the better off you're gonna be, okay? So this here is our product tags, weights. Um, you can, I don't know, kettlebells. It looks kind of like one, it's not a kettlebell, I know people, but um, so there you go. And you'll be able to add those, these tags here. And these product tags are gonna come up. Um, let's see, we're gonna add a new category for weights. There is no parent. There we go. All right, so now this is this product is going to be in the weights category. We're going to update. And we're going to come here and reload. And there's our new five kilogram, not five pounds, five kilogram body max workout ball. And that's how easy it is to change these products. And that's how easy it is to add them. You can add it from scratch if you'd like. And you know, there you go. So now let's take a look at posts, okay? Posts are very easy as well. You just, you can either hit add new or if you're using some of the demo content and there it is, it's that simple. Here's your title. I love teaching people how to make money, okay? And then I'm gonna update that. Now the same is true here. You've got your permalink. You've got your categories over here off to the right. Um, you know, we haven't recreated those, but you're gonna be able to go, these are your categories. So I can open this in a new window and I can wipe these categories right here, delete. I can then go in, I can quick edit this cat, the uncategorized, which is basically your default. And we'll say, uh, watch me go, go news all right and then we want to delete this slug and it'll recreate it with the new keywords okay and so then when i'm in here i'm going to go ahead and refresh this and there's my category and my post is now default to watch me go go news okay you've got your tags i can put a featured image in here so let's go ahead and replace this um I don't know how big these are. Let's see. 270 by 320. 19. Yeah, we use these, I guess. So there's our feature and image now. Uh, you've got an excerpt. And, uh, you know, I want to allow comments and pingbacks. So I can update that. And now when I go back and I view the post, we'll likely have an image in it. There we go. So there's our, our featured image along with I love teaching people how to make money. And then you've got the shareables and things like that. You've got space for comments. All right. Uh, wow, this is going to be a long one if I don't. Uh, I want to show you the things that are going to really put you on your way. All right. So 
here are some stuff um, that are important. There are a couple plugins that you want to have on your site. Now, first of all, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get a uh, an SSL cert cert certification, um, which it's, it's in here, missing SSL. You're probably gonna have to just buy it from Namecheap. I don't know exactly how to do that here because typically, uh, like I know on GoDaddy it's very easy, but they make it very easy for you to buy like everything and probably even a house somewhere on their website. With Namecheap, um, I'll, you might wanna call them and say, hey, I wanna get an SSL certificate added to my domain. Um, or what I'll do is I'll add it. Once this is in the CryptoCrow.io course, university course, I will add a description probably in the discussion forums on how to get your SSL certificate. I won't make another video about it, uh, but that's important. Now there's some security plugins that we're gonna want. So we're gonna go to plugins and add new. Uh, the first one I wanna set up is WordFence. WordFence is a security plugin that helps with uh, like brute force uh, kind of hacking attempts and things like that. Uh, it's pretty important to have running. It doesn't it doesn't mean your site's not going to get hacked. Uh, what you really need, in addition to this, uh, your SSL and the CDN, is you're going to want to contact Namecheap about getting a firewall added. It's very likely that they have additional firewall security. Um, and once this is installed, we're gonna activate it. I'm gonna show you just some simple stuff to do to set this up. Uh, but a firewall is pretty much a must. Uh, if you're running a WordPress website without an actual firewall running on the back end, it's very likely that your site will get hacked, especially if you forget to, um, uh, I'll just throw in my, especially if you forget to um no okay uh i don't have one right now so no thanks we're just going to go with the basic free all right so now word fence is installed down here so we go down here to the dashboard and so we're, right now it's in learning mode okay but we're gonna manage the firewall. Now this is a software firewall, but this doesn't stop like, uh, this doesn't stop like server side stuff. Um, this stops things like, uh, like you can block IP addresses. You can block like with the professional version, you can block like entire countries. So if you're seeing a lot of traffic from like Germany or China or Russia, and they keep hitting your site trying to brute force it, you can just block the entire country in here if you want um but this is a this is a pretty good uh plugin to have so lock out after how many login failures well you know what if somebody is logged into the if somebody has an actual account they don't need more than three login attempts typically uh the majority of people even though they shouldn't and you shouldn't either they're saving their passwords in their browser so the next time they come back after they set up their account they should be able to log right in it shouldn't be too difficult if they need more than three attempts they're trying to hack you anyway so you lock them out lock out after how many forgot password attempts um three that's that should be all you need count failures over what time period uh how about a day like that should be fine. Amount of time a user is locked out, two months. Two months should be more than sufficient. Uh, immediately lock out invalid usernames. This, this I wouldn't turn on necessarily, uh, only because somebody could just typo their username wrong and they'll only get one shot to punch that in right. So that should be okay. Everything else in here, enforce strong passwords, you want all that. Um, don't let WordPress reveal valid users and login errors. Absolutely. I mean, this just basically helps keep things more secure. And there are more advanced features and things like that, but we're going to save the changes. When you're reading through a lot of this stuff, if you have questions, ask in the discussion forums on CryptoCrow.io. Uh, and, and I will explain things. But for the sake of time in this video, I just want to make sure that you, you just at least get this installed on your site for now. Um, now, there's one for SEO that I highly recommend. 
We're going to add that real quick as well. And this is called Yoast SEO. So that's Y-O-A-S-T. There it is right there. Over 5 million active installations. You know it's good. <laughs> now they have some competitors, but this is ultimately pretty solid. So we're going to install that. Okay, so now that it's installed, we're gonna activate it. And it's probably gonna take us to uh, the general setup. All right. Uh, okay, to make sure your site is as secure as possible, take a moment to optimize the WordPress web application firewall. Click here to configure. Yes, we wanna do that, by the way. Um, Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what just happened. Root of your installation. Did we have it? Oh, okay, so I just it might just take a few minutes or so for that to propagate and work. Okie dokie, uh, where are we? That's right, Yoast SEO. So here's here's the Yoast SEO now. It says SEO. We're going to go into general, and there we go. Configuration wizard. It's hard for me to see. Hey, I don't have glasses on at the moment and the, everything's really small. Okay, so option A, my site is live and ready for traffic. Yes, that's fine. Um, what does the site watchmegogo.com represent? Uh, an online shop, basically. It, it doesn't matter too much, but ultimately it's an online shop. So the name of the organization, Watch Me Go Go. Um, this is where you can upload a, uh, a logo or something like that. Um, we'll just, we'll just use the base logo for now. Cause I don't have any of that stuff prepared. You'll add your, uh, Facebook page URL, your Twitter username, any of your social media accounts, and then you'll click next. You'll leave all that stuff pretty much at default. If you choose your author, uh, no, we're not going to have any other authors but me. So I can keep going with that. We'll use the hyphen. Base. Leave the base alone. And everything else is done. Click next. And boom. Now your SEO plugin is set up. That's how easy this stuff can be. Um, so what does the, the, the Yoast SEO plugin do? So let's look at pages. First of all, we're going to look at the home page of the site. Um, because I want you to kind of get an understanding as to how you're going to change that. So this is already labeled home page. So we're going to click this. All right. So this is basically your home page all set up um, using a, I think it's called King Composer Page Builder. And it breaks down your page content. Now it looks very daunting and, and it kind of is to a certain extent but ultimately it's pretty simple. And below this page, you have all of this. This is all Yoast SEO. So my homepage, Watch Me Go Go, is going to be primarily about smart watches. And that's what I'm gonna make my focus key phrase for the homepage. And I'm gonna change the title of my homepage to Watch me go go hyphen smart watches. All right. 
And so that will propagate down here. That'll change over down here. And now that'll be my new title. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna provide a meta description, okay? Because what happens is, is that when your website starts to rank and you see the listing in Google, this is all the information that the world is gonna see, okay? And so the more your title and the content on that page, the imagery on the page, all of that stuff, the better your optimization, the higher you're gonna rank, as well as backlink, social signals, activity, time on page, all sorts of other uh, signals. But this is what people are gonna see. So we wanna make sure that it's good. Um, is that, oh, I see, oh, that's cool, okay. Um, okay, so watch me go, go is the premier shop for quality smart watches and fitness trackers um what else should i say keep track of your life and go go see you uh keep track of your life and go go uh yeah that's what, that's what i'll do welcome to watch me go go comma The premier shop for quality smart watches and fitness trackers. Keep track of your life and go, go. I kill me. Okay, so that's all done. Now you can go into the social and you'll do the same thing. So you can add what I typically do is I just take uh, the title. Um, I'll take this and I'll say smart watches by watch me go go and then i'll take the description doo -doo 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 -doo. see how it's highlighted my smart watches because that's the key phrase it's letting me know that it's in there and that's giving me kudos and points i'm hoping this isn't too much information for everybody um so then we can upload an image 1200 by 630 pixels we're not going to do that just yet uh, I'm going to go through all this stuff and really optimize it. it. Just it takes some time. Obviously, we're not going to sit here for three hours doing it all. But uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing for Twitter. Twitter wants a 1024 by 512. So basically, anytime somebody links this website to Facebook or Twitter, that's the data that they're going to see. It's pretty much the same as this for Google, but there's going to be an image associated with it as well. OK, and then we can set a featured image in here. Um, which is going to be my logo and, and, and um, you know, whatever my featured image ends up being. And so we're going to update that. And that's that. So now all of this stuff. So if you, if you go into your website or if you go into the page and you're thinking, okay, so how, what do I want to edit? How do I want this to look different? So this here is a slider revolution slider. That's pretty easy to edit. You've got your overview, which is basically just a bunch of gobbledygook to talk about your product, what it is. You'll have a good product image here. You'll be able to change this image. Let's take a look at that and see what it looks like. Um, there's another rev re revolution slider. What's the title of this? Right, title, tech specs type. Yeah, so this is this is a revolution slider as well. And so we'll be able to change that image out. Um, all of this stuff is customizable. This is just one big image though, I'm pretty sure on revolution slider. So you'll be able to change all this stuff out and, and it's, it's pretty simple. So this, these are the product features. So you'll have a picture of your product in here and break down the different features of it, um, which is going to be this section here. So you can see this is an image of the, the, the shoes it's right in the middle here, okay? And then these are the, the little things on the side. 
So let's say I want an art side support. Well, my product doesn't have art side support. So I'm gonna go in here, edit this element. It's gonna bring it up. Here's the title, art side support. I'm gonna say support for ogres. Okay, and I'll update that. And I'll refresh. Support for ogres. So that's ultimately, is, that's how simple it is to customize this stuff. You, so you should know how to customize your products. You should add products. You'll be able to find this stuff. Um, all of this stuff is very easy to, to locate and edit. It's one of the reasons why we started with this theme because it's gonna be the easiest for you to work on. But I encourage you, like you play around, learn, change something, refresh, see what it did. And that's how you're gonna really learn how to, you know, to edit this stuff. Um, there's some other plugins and things. I can add those in the discussion forum. WP Optimize is a good one. Um, Smush is a good one. That way when you're uploading products, uh, product images, Smush will automatically compress them without losing a lot of image quality. Um, there's a couple other optimization things that just overall speed up the site, the, the, the speed of your site because it, It'll put all of the code for particular pages and things like that. Uh, but ultimately, that's that's it. I mean, you, you go through, you'll figure out what pages you need. So if you click pages, these are all the pages on your website right now. And there's three pages of pages. Well, a lot of this stuff is gobbledygook that you're probably not going to use. It doesn't necessarily matter initially that it's here. But ultimately what's gonna happen is if you don't get rid of this stuff soon, like home two, are we gonna use home two? Let's take a look. This is probably a different version of the home page. So that's home two. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna use that. So rather than have Google index that uh, and then me get rid of it later, I would rather just get rid of it before I'm even indexed, before Google even knows I'm here. Because as soon as I send out my first link, at some point, Google's gonna crawl that link and it's gonna say, okay, this page exists. And then if you delete it later and you don't have a redirect, that's gonna hurt your Google score, okay? So you don't wanna do that. So you wanna go through and figure out how much of this stuff do I wanna get rid of? What do I actually need? Some of these pages, so it's just showing some of the functionality of the theme. That's great. If you wanna learn, take a look at it but you're not gonna really use it for anything, so we're gonna get rid of it. So you wanna go out, you wanna go through all the pages and prune the pages you don't need. Now, some of these pages you might look at and you might say, wow, that's really cool content. I like the way the page is laid out. I wanna use it. I'm just not gonna use it for what's on there. I'm gonna customize it. I'm gonna change the text and keep the format. That's great, that's what it's for. That's exactly what installing the demo is all about. You take what you need, you edit what you want, and you get rid of the rest. And that's how it's done. Um, so overall, you basically just bought a domain, set up a website in, well, what should be under an hour uh, in the grand scheme of things. And you got a crash course on how to customize a theme, you know, where to buy themes, I hope that's helpful. I mean, uh, any other questions that you have, go to CryptoCrow.io, ask in the discussion forums. I check them all the time throughout the day and I will answer your questions there and I will help you get started. Um, you know, you, like I said, you don't have to use Theme Forest for your theme. You can just punch in, you know, free WordPress themes in Google. You'll find a lot of different resources, but it's not as likely that those uh, free themes are going to have one point or uh, one click installs, which is kind of a big deal. Um, I would not use a theme that didn't because let's face it, it just takes too much time. You're going to try and create all of this stuff, making everything look really good on your own. Chances are you're not going to have a page builder as part of the theme. If you do, it's probably not going to be very good. Um, it's worth the drop 60 bucks on your business. I mean, you got cheap hosting, you got a cheap domain name. Don't cheap out on the look and feel of your site because once this stuff is all customized to your liking and it, you've got some good quality product pictures or even if it's just a blog, you know, and you're doing specific niche blogging about particular topics, once you've got your own custom images or you've, you've got some good stock photography, whatever you're doing, once you've made the site your own, you still wanna make sure that it looks good. 
your logo. You can find free logo templates, or you can buy a logo template on Graphic River, um, at part of the Envato market. A custom logo might cost you 29 bucks. You can edit it uh, in Photoshop in two seconds. There's, it's super, super easy, okay? Um, I will say that in the like 20 plus years that I've been doing stuff, uh, as far as websites, marketing, graphics, you name it, uh, my Envato account has by far been the most valuable account I've ever had. Um, the resources I have on there, I mean, I know I've been a customer for probably six, seven, oh, it's gotta be longer than that, probably 10 years. Um, I think I even have a 10 year birthday candle on my account. And, and I just, anytime I need something, I go in, I find a nice template, I change it, I make it my own and I use it. And I mean, you can find graphics templates on there for a couple bucks. Uh, you can find anything you want. Audio tracks, video openers, you name it, you can find it. If it has to do with a creative skill that you may or may not have, or you just want to save time, you'll find it there. Um, obviously, the links for everything are going to be in the description of the video. Hopefully, this gets you off to the right start, gets you on your way to building your site. Um, and I look forward to your questions and helping you further from here. Till next time, crow your coins, and I'll see you again real soon.